Alright, hey, this is um, Super Ninja Man with DinosaursRobot.com. And as you can see, the katana that we UV together and all that jazz is textured. Um, I recorded myself texturing it, and then after. Excuse me. Um, after the whole process. It just kind of crapped out on me. I don't really know what to do. Um, all the audio was off. It was awful. Um, so I'm going to cover basic things that I said during the tutorial. Let's actually change this so you can actually see the texture. Uh, this is a little greener than what it is in the game. Okay, um, one thing is uh, the texture I made is really cartoony. That's just because I was trying to get it done quickly so that I could record all of it. Because it was going to be, because I knew it was going to be like an hour and a half. And it was, and that made too many frame skips, and, you know. So the audio ended up being, at the end, a full 10 seconds off. And I tried fixing it, there's cuts in it and stuff, it was terrible. Um, this yellowish white is ray skin. Uh, the way I create it is paint a little off white, and then use. Uh, I don't know if GIMP has it, but it's a Photoshop tool on the layer and effects. Um, bevel and emboss, and you set a pattern that looks kind of just like bumps. And on the normal texture, you just have it pretty low, you know, just so you can see it. Um, and then on the diffuse, you set it a little heavier. Uh, I also covered using a base, one base metal texture to make multiple different metals on, you know, an object. Um, yeah, this is a metal texture I painted. It's pretty awful. I need to do it, get a new one, or do a new one. Uh, as you can see, like right here, it's really blurry. That's because I used blur, and they ended up making it a little muddier than I wish it did. Um, this white on the edge isn't my, um, I can't remember the term, but because I told you not to paint that on the texture, on the diffuse, that's not on the diffuse, or that one, that little bit is on the diffuse, because some swords look like that, but as you can see, the hamaki, okay, yeah, that's what it's called, um, right here's the white, or here, here's what you see on the texture, and right here's the, what you'll see on the, when the light hits it. I kind of wish I made it all just one uniform color, but I'm not going to go change it. Um, you can see I put scratch details and noise on the um, spec. That's accurate, but you know you don't want uniform noise like this. Some things will have different grain. Uh, the steel that they use on katanas actually has a decent amount of grain. Same with, uh, you know the cast iron he's on Suba and the the cap uh, and then that's supposed to be copper but I don't think um, I don't have I don't know of shaders that allow colored spec maps in uh, Mountain Blade and this is the diffuse you know uh, recolored I should probably could have made that a little more red just bleed. Uh, yeah, look how awful this is. And these, these scratches that you see, those weren't intentional. I'm not sure how those got there, actually. I think they're from uh, the damage right here. See this? Because it kind of has a similar pattern. But I'm not sure how that would have gotten on that, because that was under that texture. But, you know, whatever. Um, this is just one flat color, because it's a um, just black lacquer. Don't want black, because black doesn't look good in game, but Let's show that again. This is closer in color to how it looks in game. It it looks pretty nice actually in game. Uh, after this, I'm gonna show a video of it in game that I recorded to follow the tutorial. But as I said, the tutorial didn't end up working, and I tried re-encoding and all that stuff. It took. It's now 4 a.m. I started at 8 p.m. So. 
Yeah, I've been working on this tutorial for quite some time now. Um, so, excuse me if I'm not sounding enthused. Alright, well, um, let's jump to that in-game video. Alright, hey, welcome to my test mod, um, Heroes of the Forgotten Valley 4 subtitle. We're going to join a test character named Samurai, as he's about to ruin some looter's day with the sword you and I have just made together. Or you have watched a full hour of me make. Alright. Oh, look, look at that sword. Look at it. Oh, it's not this. Let's put the sheath. Ah, oh, the sheath's perfect. Everything about it is just great. Let's mess up some of day. First, let's look at the sword. Ah. Alright. Ah, damn. I was hoping I could see the uh, blades thing. But, I mean, just look at that. Ah, look at the the noise we put on the. Um. What's it? What's that called? Spec map. Look at that. It makes it makes that lacquer look perfect. Probably should tone it down on a few things or lower the strength, but I definitely should lower the strength. But look at that. Ah, man. Ah, you guys did an excellent job. Good job. Or congrats. Look, you can see the Haman like it's not there, and then it's starting to show. Ah. And this is this is beautiful. Even though the texture is awful, it's still pretty great. There's no blood on. The, I can't get blood on the blade, which is the best way to show your vertex. Is oh, I guess the game doesn't want me to keep having fun. Whatever game, I wasn't playing you to have fun anyway. Whatever. Let's mess someone else's day up. Or let's go. Night scenes are always really great for um, showing spec maps. Or at least they were in the original game. I mean, look at that. Just kind of a full color, and then the Haman shows. And then you can see the little grain I put into it. Ah, man. For a horrible texture, it's a great texture. Right. You guys should be proud of yourselves. Like you can see how cartoon. <laughs> I could probably tone that down and release it and have it look <gasps> Oh cool, I'm in a siege. Mm. Look at those look at those scratches. Look at that guys. This is this is all you. <laughs> the Hamon shows. Mm. Let's fuck with the <laughs> Okay, can't fuck with horse. Alright. Well um Thank you for following my tutorial, and if you have any suggestions for future ones, feel free to drop in the comments or on the uh, forum thread, which will be in the description below. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be seeing you all around.